Hey guys, Dimani here uh, with another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So in today's video, I'm going to need a majority of my screen for a lot of this, so there won't be any fan art, otherwise I'd be hiding information for you guys. So I do apologize for that. I will try to have a second video today or one tomorrow morning showcasing the fan art, because uh, I'm falling a little bit behind on that. So I do apologize. But uh, we do have some V-Jump scans that I want to go over with you guys. I want to talk about a lot of things. Uh, most of this content today is going to be relevant to the JP side of the game. So keep that in mind. Uh, usually Global gets this, you know, anywhere from two to six months after, sometimes even at the same time. So you never know. Uh, but uh, something that I want to mention also, uh, you've probably seen some videos on the V-Jump scans. Uh, there is something that was pointed out to me that I haven't seen anybody really talk about. So I, that's why I wanted to talk about it in this video. Uh, so let's just hop right in. Now, the thing I want to talk about, as you probably seen the V-Jump scan right here, um, we are getting a base form Goku, which I'm sure you probably heard, that's going to transform into the Ray of kind of like, it's like, you know, that mid transformation where Goku's eyes go white. Actually, I think I pulled up a GIF so you guys can see it. Hold up, hold up. Uh, I had it right over here. Yeah, this one right here. So I pulled up a GIF. Hopefully I don't get hit with copyright for this. As you can see, Goku transforming. This is the scene that's basically happening for, the t uh, for this new unit. So, and there is his final Super Saiyan form right there. So that's the scene that we're getting. Um, and here's the, uh, here is the V-Jump scan again. So that's the scene that we're getting, and that's pretty much this form right here, and he's gonna go into Super Saiyan, which this was, this right here, this little part, this little purple arrow, as you can see, brr, 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 this little purple arrow right here means that there's something else that's gonna happen. It's most likely the active skill um that is going to be on this unit so uh i don't know what they can really add here so i want to know in the comments guys what you guys think for an active skill uh the one that i kind of chose which i think would be really really cool is this scene right here as you know goku spares the enemy i know this would take a lot of animation but i want to see goku like give life to the enemy a little bit like give him his power and just tell him to leave or something and then goku start flying away and the enemy attack and i want to hear a voice a voice activation of you fool! Or whatever they come out, or whatever they said in JP, I think it, like in the Japanese version, I think it was like you imbecile or something like that. Um, and I want to see just, you know, an enraged blast and, you know, killing the enemy would be really, really cool. So that's kind of what I want to see for this unit for an active skill. Let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anything else. Uh, personally, during the scene, I can't think of anything, anything that would more fit this because Goku didn't really do anything as a Super Saiyan, he was just a badass. Uh, you didn't, I don't even think he shot a Kamehameha off in that final fight. He was just basically flying around Molly Wap and Frieza. It was a, you know, one of the most epic fights of my childhood. So they need to do this unit right. And I think this is the super attack or active scale that they need to give him. Otherwise, I feel it's just gonna be a Kamehameha. All right, so back to the V-Jump scan. Uh, on here somewhere, I can't read J you know Japanese. Uh, they do talk about a, uh, another transforming Frieza, so it's going to be a dual Dokkan Fest, which is what people are speculating. Uh, the transforming Frieza, I can imagine being like Frieza first form, and you know, maybe like third form Frieza, and then full power Frieza would be a good assumption for that unit. Um, I, for that, I think Destructo Discs need to be a thing. I think that would be really cool for an active skill for Destructo Discs. Uh, there is a big problem with this Planet Namek Saga, you know, category that everybody is speculating this unit to be a leader skill of, is the category is absolute dog trash. I, I was gonna say something else, but I stopped myself. Uh, the category is not very good. So I think on, if it's a dual Dokkan Fest, I think on each banner we need some like two or three new units to kind of complement this banner a little, I uh, can complement this category a little bit. Um, the only leader skill, like, I, I, I don't even know what you would use, man. I mean, the EZA Gohan, maybe the EZA Piccolo. You got some LRs, uh, LR Freeze is decent, but nothing really pops out to you, right? One thing I would love to see personally, um, which, you know, this, this card right here is also part of that fight. I would love to see an EZA of this unit. This is actually my, well, probably my favorite SSR in the game. Um, so I would love to see an EZA of this guy going to 140 and maybe making that. He has a really cool passive skill. So maybe actually make that, um, you know, survives KO once per once per game or something like that. That'd be really clutch in a lot of like, uh, you know, the, the new, new MUI Goku fights and just other things like that. So. I would love to see this guy right here get an easy A with this event. It'd be really, really cool. Now, uh, so another thing that we're gonna talk about is, I, I talked about it a little bit, is the Planet Namek Saga. Uh, it's missing a lot of units. Uh, the free, like I would, 
the units that I can see them adding, maybe a, you know, a Krillin. A Krillin would be really cool with Vegeta armor um, that's decent. Maybe a good support unit for Planet Namek, Planet Namek Saga. Another Gohan would be really cool. And we also need the Vegeta, uh, you know, the Vegeta that took the, the Frieza beam through the chest and died on Namek. We need that unit in the game. So I, I don't think we have any really good base form Vegetas. So I think that would complement, you know, this team quite a bit. As far as Frieza's banner goes, um, dude, <laughs> like, I could see maybe a, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Um, I would like to see maybe a second form, third form Frieza, because if you guys actually think about it, we, for the only third form Frieza we have is this one right here. The only second form Frieza we have are SRs, so we actually don't have a SSR or like a, a TUR, for that matter, second or third form Frieza. So they can add that to the, you know, to the Planet Namek Saga. It might make the banner a little bit more viable, but it definitely needs a support unit. It needs some hard hitters um, because, you know, Frieza and Goku, I don't think are going to be enough to do it, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Now, okay, so the next thing we wanted to talk about is the dual categories. So I'm not quite certain what they're going to put on these units. As you guys know, the current trend on JP is all units pretty much have two category leads now. So it, it, it's it's a really great thing. It's allowing you to run, you know, a bigger variety of units on your team. Like, you, like units that you thought would never go together are now going together. Um, for this Goku, I, I, I really do think the Goku's going to get Planet Namek Saga. Um, I'm not sure what other category they can do. I would love to see a new one of Super Saiyan 1. Super Saiyan 1 would be legit. I think that would actually open up the category quite a bit with the Planet Namek Saga. It would make, make it a little bit more viable. Um, otherwise, you're not going to see this unit on any other teams except for basically Goku's lineage or something like that. So he needs to have a really good second category, in my opinion. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. As far as typing goes for the Goku unit, I do think physical. Physical is going to take the cake. If you actually look at all the freaking Goku units, this is all the Goku units that we have currently in, uh, in Dokkan. There are quite a few, quite a few, uh, quite a few Gokus, right? But there is only one Super Saiyan one Goku, okay? And that is this guy that Dokkan awakens, Dokkan awakens into this guy. We have two intelligence. Uh, we got a crap ton of tech. We have a quite a few AGL. We have a lot of strength, and we only have one physical. So physical is my typing guess for this new unit. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. As far as the Frieza goes, uh, let's see. I have I pulled up full power Frieza. Uh, this as a good guess because I do imagine that the transforming Frieza is going to start out base form and go to full power. Um, I think for his category, uh, dual category leader skills, it's probably going to be something with transformation boost and possibly wicked bloodline. I think that makes a lot of sense. It could be full power. However, we have seen a lot of full power leaders already. So I kind of think they're going to skip on that one and go straight into those last two. Let me know in the comments what you think. Or they could come up with a brand new one altogether. Like it's, it's happened before and it'll happen again. Um, anything else I need to talk about? Yes. Okay. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is we already kind of have this Goku a couple times in the game um, from the V-Jump scan. We don't have any starting off at base form, obviously transforming into Super Saiyan, but we do have we do have this guy right here, like the guy that I said I, said I want to get an Easy A, I think it would be legit. Um, he's a very good unit, but an Easy A, you know, get rid of that HP restriction altogether, I think would make the, the unit great. You revive one time, it'd be actually really cool. It might make him kind of clutch for a lot of events. Um, so, but th this scene right here is the same scene um, from the V-Jump scan. So, I, d I really don't think he's going to be a strength type unit because not only that, we also have... Where are you? This guy right here. Um, this is the actual... Look, you see the art? Check this out. Check this out. That's, that's, that's this right here. That's pretty, pretty close, man. So, um, definitely not going to be a strength type unit. I really do think he's going to stay physical on this one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this little uh, V-Jump scan, you know, debunk and talking about the units, categories, all that stuff, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, turn notifications on, be a homie, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>